This short piece, beautiful, is a minuet, a song, a dance, taken from an old dance form in three, four, minuets are in three, four time. This is in the key of A minor. It just goes by the name Minuet in A minor by an English composer from the late uh, 17th century, Henry Purcell. Now he was about the most famous English composer of his day. And uh, well, right up there with a couple others, but um, this was the post-Renaissance, early Baroque period and uh, wrote things for all kinds of stuff. Now this was probably written for a keyboard, but it makes a great guitar piece, a great lute piece, um, and, and very short, not much to it, just a couple of sections, and fairly easy. But what we're going to concentrate on in this lesson, oh, Purcell, by the way, influenced a lot of uh, contemporary people. <laughs> Pete Townsend traces a lot of his uh, thoughts about music harmonies and, uh, and clashes of various kinds of sounds to this composer. So, anyway, um, yeah, he says stuff like even Won't Get Fooled Again is based on it, and, uh, and of course Pinball Wizard, the opening to Pinball Wizard, not with this one in the, uh, in the old days. Anyway, um, it's a very simple little melody in the key of A minor. What you see in A minor uh, that distinguishes it from the key of C is a lot of G sharps in there because we end up hearing E chords, which is what gives us our minor sound, pulling back to an A minor chord, derived from the melodic minor scale that uses both a G natural, the natural seventh, and so we hear C chords in here, and E chords using a G sharp. Um, very simple bass line going on in here, and we're just going to do this from reading with no, you know, no tab. We're in the classical guitar world here, folks, and very simple reading in first position. A few little hammer-ons and pull-offs that have to happen. We'll talk about right-hand fingerings. But what I'd like you to do first is just take a look at the music. You've heard it. Start working on it and see what you need to do to make it sound something like what you just heard here. Next segment, I will break down some of the important things. I ended with a Baroque music, and we're not going to go too far into this. Actually, I'm not going to really go into this at all in this lesson. Tends to use a lot of ornaments, and I used really only one, and it was at the very end. When it landed on the two A's, did a very quick grace note, pull off to G sharp and back. You'd hear a lot of trills in there. This would happen in here. But beyond the scope of what I want to do in this lesson, I want to keep it very simple and just be, help that, have this be something that you can work on reading if you're um, working on the reading music kind of stuff that we're, that we're working on here. And a nice little simple piece to have just to add to your repertoire. So coming up, we'll take a look at Henry Purcell's um, Minuet in A minor. I guess I don't have much else to say about this, but we'll break it down in the next segment. That was the first segment on a lesson I put together on this very short classical piece of minuet, well, technically a Baroque piece from the late 17th century and 171687, I believe, or so for this one. And uh, the lesson really focuses more on m muting notes that shouldn't ring anymore and not having something sound like this when it should sound like this. And not hearing a B continuing to ring while you're playing an A when the melody comes back down to A. So uh, the lesson that we've got the two parts written out in standard notation, no tablature on this because that's part of what we're trying to do with the reading music. This is all part of things that, that go on at Totally Guitars. It's part of the Target program, which is our monthly subscription program. And our whole classical section and stuff is available as an individual purchase if you like to. We have a bunch of free lessons to get you started, but this is a, another one of the series of things in my guide to reading music, working on some fairly easy pieces, but learning to read music. It doesn't have to be that scary. So if you'd like to check it out, come visit us at Totally Guitars.